Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing the no mirror makeup challenge. So right now I can see the viewfinder, but that will be covered up. So do not mind that or I'll flip it around something. But if you are excited to kind of see how this turns out for me, then keep watching. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. So you're instantly notified when I upload and you can become part of the hive. We have so much fun on this channel, guys. You don't want to miss out. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so we are going to be doing the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. Um, this has obviously been a challenge that's been going on for a long time, but because I am newer to YouTube, there are many challenges I haven't done. So I like doing like little fun challenges and throwing them in here. Um, this one is probably the most frightening one. <laughs> because, I mean, like I'm pretty good at makeup, but uh, I don't know if I could do it without the mirror. Like I know I could do like minimal but I can't do like my brows and shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't. So I'm like really freaking out right now because I'm like, <laughs> they're about to see the real skill. You have no skill. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. So we are gonna just go ahead. I'm gonna flip the viewfinder around so I can't see myself. So let's, let's do this. Okay, so now that the viewfinder is turned around, um, I'll still hold products up, but it may not focus as well because I can't really see if I'm in focus. So usually the first step that I do is my eyebrows and I have been, oh, this is like a mirror. That's fine. I have been using the Iconic London. Um, this is the Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. When I first got it in my BoxyCharm BoxyLux, I hated it, but I've been trying to use it more and more in like different ways because it is really expensive. It was like $40 and I didn't want to just throw it out. What I did was um, I actually don't use the brush from the inside. I use one of my ABH double-ended brushes. So I have to be careful because it does have a mirror, but I will go ahead and cover this so you can see as not cheating. So what I do is I go ahead in with this dark color and I fill in for the most part. And then at the end, in the fronts, I will use the lighter color. I guess I'll just, oh my God. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm in the hair, all right. See, I think this is gonna be a piece of cake. I was tripping over nothing. Like you think that you can't do something, but then you like realize like you do this every day. The only problem with it is I don't know, I don't know where to look, you know what I mean? And also, I don't know when I'm filled in. All right, we're gonna go with I am filled in. I have my husband zoom you guys in because I would like you to be able to see like what I'm doing. Oh God, this is hard. I know it starts like right in here and I'm not even gonna try to flick it. I'm just gonna try to just place it. Okay. I'm just imagining where I feel my brows. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, we're gonna move on because I have no idea. Oh God. The next thing I would do would be concealer for my eyebrows. Um, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that. So I'm gonna go in with the brow gel to set it down. Okay, that was definitely all hairs. I didn't really, oh, nope, that was skin. And this is the ABH Clear Gel. It's literally my go-to, 100%. All right, and what do I do next? Oh, I do my foundation and primer. All right, so today I am going to be going in with the Touch and Soul No Pore Blump Primer smooth and pore covering. I've actually not used this since I got it, so I want to kind of use it. Ooh, that might be too much, but all right. So I will go ahead in and put it where I put my primer, which is usually basically just in this T-zone area. And honestly, I put it here because I have really dry patches like here and here. So when it like fills it, it kind of like, 
I did too much. I'm gonna spread it everywhere. It fills the cracks in my skin because it's so dry. So I'm going to be going into the Lancome. This is actually my number one hands down favorite freaking foundation. Um, I'll never stop buying this. It doesn't matter how many foundations I try, no matter how many foundations I buy, I will never stop buying this foundation. This is the Lancome Tint Adol Ultra Wear. Um, this is the, this is what it looks like. Yep. And this is in 420 this end. I like the finish of it. I like the feel of it. I like that it doesn't like seep into my creases and my texture and all that good stuff. I mean, it does a little, but at the same time, like almost all foundation does that to me because I have a lot of freaking texture. So we're going to shake it, shake it, shake it. And I'm going to go ahead and pop some here. Oh no. No. What? Okay. So Fun fact, I don't have any more. Let me pounce this on, and then I'm gonna get some more out of there. So we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Ta-da! I'm gonna do it again. Over here. We're just gonna blend this in, and hopefully I'm not gonna get it on my hoodie. That would suck. So I get my ears, and then get down my neck. Pouncy, pouncy. This one I feel like I could do a really good job more. That's hard. I mean, you know, you can't really mess up here. Oh, I forgot to do, I do my eyeshadow first usually. By the way. Foundation is usually actually the last step in the process. Like, I usually do my face, like, way after. Oh, well. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so definitely more on here and my ear. And down my chin. Da, 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 da. And I think we're all blended, to be honest. Like, I can feel it on my face. All right, so moving right along. We're going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the color medium. And I'm just going to give it a little dippy dip. And so I usually start in the corner and bring it out a little bit. I'm not out a little bit is probably an understatement. I do it a lot. But this one doesn't seem to be too hard because I can kind of feel like where this needs to be. And I think when I was just talking, I may have just touched another part of my chin that didn't need to be concealed. I think if I just keep this right here. I think, I think I'm doing really good. <laughs> Comment below and tell me how good I'm doing at this point because I feel like I'm doing really good. Blend it, so as long as I blend. And we're gonna get up here and do the under eye, which I feel like is easy because this part, like I feel like I could do in my sleep. And we're gonna start blending out here. Oh, I almost got that in my eye. So this part is gonna be easier because you could kind of feel like the structure of your face versus like, I don't know doing your eyebrows where you can't really feel like where those go and then you have like really predominant eyebrow bones. All right, I feel in my heart that that is blended. I feel like I really blended it. My wrist started hurting. That's how you know. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Milk Blur and Set Powder. This has slowly become one of my favorite setting powders next to the Huda. Um, it has very similar features and it's just so nice. Like I just love it so much. And I'm gonna go in, and this part is I gonna I feel like gonna be simple, easy. I keep saying it's gonna be easy. I'm watching you look like a fucking troll. So the reason I say this is gonna be easy because you're gonna go in where it feels wet. You know what I mean? Like you just placed all that concealer, so it's still kind of wet. You feel me? And then we're gonna go up here, and we can just kind of swipe it down and in, and then on my chinny chin chin. And if I feel any wet still for the concealer, then I know I have not set everywhere that needs to be set. Yeah, girl. Oh my God. <laughs> like crap. So, and when I'm done, my husband is gonna flip the camera back to me to make sure I obviously can see the end result. All right, so I'm gonna go into my eyes now that I have my face set, and this is the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes. I got it a couple weeks ago, and I'm gonna open it kind of like this. 
so you guys can see it, but I can't see the mirror. So I got it a couple weeks ago and it's really, really freaking pretty. I just haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna have it where it's like this, so I can't see the mirror. All right, so I'm gonna go in with uh, this pink one right here, which is South Beach, and I'm gonna put it all over my eye as the transition. I'm just gonna find the crease. The part that I think I'm the most like nervous about doing without a mirror is going to be uh, my lashes and my lipstick. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go back in. This part can be a little tricky because although I could feel my crease, I don't know how high I'm going up. However, like that could be a look, you know what I mean? Like that someone is trying to achieve. Okay. Like I'm in my crease. So we're gonna go with these or even because I don't freaking know. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna take is the Aloha Beaches, which is right here. Here, can you see this? Is this in frame? All right, right here. I'm gonna go in with one of the ABH dual ended brushes. And I'm, ooh, a little bit of kickback. All right, I'm gonna find that sweet spot right there. So basically what I looked for was the divot in my eye and just blending it onto the outer corner, possibly. Maybe not into the middle, I don't know. I'm trying to like figure out where I need to pull my eyes. Is that weird? Like I just don't even know, but I don't bring it up. All right, so we're gonna go into the other eye. We're just gonna place this in the crease, making it just a little bit, have a little bit of definition, you know, you know. All right, so I'm gonna be going in with Being Gold, which is this shimmer color right here. And I'm just gonna lay that on the lid with a flat packing brush, possibly. All right, and there we go. Oh, I felt fall out, no! Oh no, I felt it. All right, so boom. We're gonna go with a little bit more, but then I'm gonna take my thing and dust that off my face. I don't know where it is, but I can feel it. And we're just gonna bring it to that darker color, just tapping it around the lid. <laughs> I'm gonna take that blending where I powdered and I'm just gonna go down my face. And I don't know where it went. I know it's there. I, f I physically felt it hit my face. I guess from like not being able to see, cause usually I wouldn't even feel fallout. But I guess not being able to see, my other senses are kind of like intact. And now that I'm closing my eye to do my lid, <laughs> so strange, um, I can see my ring light. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. Eh. All right, so we're bringing it to that darker color. So it's just the inner corner to the middle, making it like, <laughs> I got that in my eye. I got that in my eye. I have to go back in and I'm gonna take that deeper color and just kind of blend out the mess <laughs> that I just put on my eye. What if I like put the, like looked at it and it winded up being like a bomb ass look? Like, oh, okay. Not likely, but you know, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. All right, so I'm done. I think I got eyeshadow on my eyes. I am done with that. I am, I am not gonna do this. I'm gonna go in with my eyelashes, which again, was my biggest freaking fear. So usually I use tweezers to apply my lashes, but now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna pass on doing that considering I can't see um, and I really don't want to stab myself in the eye. You know, no big deal. No big deal. I just don't wanna lose my vision. All right, so the glue I'm using, it's actually one of my favorite, is the Duo, just white glue. I also have it in black for my darker looks. Don't do this. It's not sanitary. It's not professional. I do it for myself. Oh, God. 
All right, so let's feel where my actual lashes are. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! All right. Okay. I can see the front of it. I don't want it to stick it away. Okay. So I know it's a little low, and I only know that because I can still see the band. What is happening? Oh, it's because this one keeps popping out. All right, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I really don't want to close my eye because I really don't. I know it. I can feel that it's too low um, because when I go to look down, like I could see the lash. So I'm aware that it's not accurate. But I feel like I did a pretty freaking good job. We'll see. We'll see. Don't judge me quite yet. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the second one and my glue. All right, so this one is always like my worst eye. Okay, I feel there's my lash. Um, even when I'm like looking in a mirror, for whatever reason, this eye just gives me trouble with lashes. I don't know if it's because like it's just the way that it is. I don't know. So we're just gonna try, and I'm probably jacking up like all of my eyeshadow. Feel it. All right, so I'm gonna lightly pinch them, make sure, yeah, I can feel them touching my lashes. Okay. I feel like this one's hanging over a little bit more. Okay, hold on. This kind of thing though, I feel like this is actually easier than I thought it would be because I can almost feel if the band lifts. Does that make sense? Probably not. Okay, that was Jamie, put on your mascara. All right, so before I do my mascara, actually, I'm gonna go back in with the gold color and do a little tappy tappy on top because I feel like my, um, I feel like my lashes took all that off. So I'll just go ahead and tap it on there. Cause like I touched so much glue on there, I feel like it took all the shimmer away. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Cool. Oh god. Oh god, I got glue. It's trying to take my other lashes. <laughs> I don't want to close my eye. I don't want to close my eye. I can feel that I got glue like on the bottom because it's trying to glue itself to my bottom lashes. Oh my god. It's fine. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a dense packing brush into that darker color. And, uh, I, and I really have to do a funny face now because I can't see. And then we're gonna take the back here and just make sure it's blended. It is blended. All right, so I think we are done with the eyes. Okay, let's move on. So, I got to do the mascara. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And we're gonna, this part I can do. I could do because I do this part all the time without a mirror. Sometimes when I'm driving and eating. It's mandatory to know how to apply your mascara without a mirror. Because there's just those days where you have to. I definitely touched my skin. I felt it. All right, so we're going to go in with bronzer. And this is the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer in Bronze B. So this is my Morphe M530. <laughs> now here's the problem, okay? With us round face ladies. We don't have a lot of definition in our face. Where like our cheeks are completely like this is my cheekbone, this is the top of my cheekbone. I have a fairly round, fat face, so we're gonna have to just go with this. <laughs> we're just gonna go with it because I don't know where my cheekbones start and where they stop because it's just how the cookie crumbles. All right, let's go around here. All right, we're gonna go. I know I gotta get that forehead, I know that. In a three motion, three motion, three motion. I don't even know what I'm fucking doing, guys. 
All right, so I feel like I've definitely gotten where I need to be, okay? This bronzer, the little shimmer shimmer. So the next is gonna be blush, and I'm actually gonna go in with the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's one of my favorite brushes, and this is actually a drugstore brand, ah, see? And then Real, Techni Real Techniques Powder Brush. I forgot I had this blush, that it is a um, drugstore brand and I love it. So we're gonna smile, and wherever we feel the big fat lump, that's where we're going. And I like to bring my blush to my hairline, um, probably not as much as I just did, but <laughs> I like to bring it to my hairline so it looks like the color is like flushing out of me instead of being like all here. Do it where it's coming out. And we're just gonna have to go with that's enough. <laughs> all right, and last, not last, I have lipstick still. So I'm gonna be going in with the Becca Moonstone. I have like literally 10 or so of these and I love, these are my first ever favorite highlighters. And we're just gonna go, oh God. We're just gonna. We're gonna need silence to try to get this at the the exact spot. So this part will be pretty easy because I can look and make sure I'm at the tip of my nose. Cross my eyes and look at it. Okay. And oh god, I can see where the brush is, but I don't know if it's bright enough. <sighs> I had a lot of fallout. So I have three different lip choices today. I have the Laura Lee Kissmas, which is one of my favorite. The Laura Lee Los Angeles Jaybird, which is just a nude. And then the Dose of Colors Fres Fressa? Fressa? Oh no, that's not gonna go with this. No, no, girl. So we're gonna go in with the Jaybird, which is just a nude. I really do love Laura Lee Los Angeles lipsticks. The only problem is like I feel the compartments are a little bit cheap because I haven't had these very long, maybe a couple of months, and the names are already like kind of coming off, like the actual emblem of their uh, company. All right, test of time. Am I Kylie Jenner? Can I do this without a mirror? Fuck no. All right. Okay. I close my eyes, I can almost imagine where my lips are. Okay, now we're gonna go to the top. Oh gosh. Find the middle. Find the middle. Okay. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is going to be my setting spray, which I do without a mirror all the time. So. Set all this mess down. And now I am going to grab my mirror right here and then have my husband flip my viewfinder. Okay. Can you flip my viewfinder? Sweet. That's actually not bad. And I am Kylie Jenner. I did that without looking at it. Look at these lips. This one's a little crooked. So the only... <laughs> Only couple of things. <laughs> My lashes, not sure what's happening there. Those guys were like, I was worried that they weren't staying, but this one is like literally glued to my eyelid. And this one is like really far down. And then my brows were obviously an issue. And I'm not, oh, that's my hair. I got foundation all over my hair. Uh, oh, and then there she is. There's that, I told you I touched my face. I could feel it. 
Um, I don't think I did so terrible. Uh, I know that in the camera it looks like super, super nice, but I'm not gonna lie to you. There are plenty of places I missed with the foundation and like this right here. Oh my God. And there are plenty of places that I powdered that I don't powder with this. Look at the patchiness here. Oh my God. And my ear. I barely got any on my ear. I don't think it's so bad though. Like, let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up in the comments or a thumbs down in the comments if you think I did a good job. Let's zoom you out. <laughs> mm. All right, guys, so that is it for my no mirror makeup challenge. I think I did a pretty good job for not having a mirror. Let me know what you think. And as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, don't fucking do anything. Just don't, don't thumbs down. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Bye.